नमो तस् भगवत अर्त सबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्त सबुदस् नमो तस् भगवत अर्त सबुदस् डिया देवेंद्र बल संघ डिया दिवोटी Today is the third day of our intensive meditation program. We see most of the venerables; they are more effortful. Few we see not proper practice. It is not suitable for them. But the sasana, we can have the results with the effortful practice. The our timetable not very tight, very relaxed, very comfortable timetable we have. Only thing is we have to maintain intensive practice. If you maintain the intensive practice, maybe the one program or two or three, definitely you can have some good results. So most of the vendors we see they are more effortful. Few of them we see they are not proper attending the meditation program. So those vendors it is not suitable for their life. So they are. they don't have enough energy to develop their mentalities you know the some of the pupils they are facing the exam some they get through some they get fail because they don't have enough mark similarly effortless one not energetic venerables they are go to the part of the fail that means they don't have enough energy to continue with their sansara so sansara that is today attainment or future attainment no one day you attain until attainment sansara is more smooth who practice effortful so we determine next few days also maintain effortful practice we wish all of you have more and more energy to maintain your continuous practice during this intensive program period so the buddha time you know the when the buddha arrives many other valuable venerable sarai to the buddha sasana among them venerable sariput highest in the wisdom venerable mahamagala and highest in the psychic power to venerable mahakashyap and many valuable venerables 80 great venerables together many they are many when the buddha sasana so among them the venerable mahakacha and also very special venerable the one day all these 80 venerable together there was a sangha meeting in the pubbaram so that after vasana buddha and all the sangha gather in there to the pubbaram pubbaram is the two stories lower stories gathering place the buddha and in order all the venerables they have the different sitting places so the king sakka also thought oh that is a very good chance to pay respect to venerables so gathering these 80 venerables it is not the happening every day it is very rare it is very good chance to pay respect king sakka and followers also come to their pubbaram so when king sakka more like to pay respect to the venerable mahakachaya because when the mahakachaya's body also very beautiful talking also very beautiful preaching also very beautiful walking also very beautiful everything very beautiful and also stable life so king sakka also like this venerable more like so all the venerables they are now had been sitting their place but uh, venerable mahakacha not come yet because had to come from very far it was venerable was in the very far away 120 or janas away they call avanti that uh, a city is called avanti had to come from there to the sravatte venerable just come when the king sakka thinking venerable just come and sit the venerable place king sakka didn't pay respect other venerable directly go to the venerable mahakachaya and uh, all the venerable's legs uh, that uh, rubbing the venerable legs and uh, feet and pay respect after that pay respect other venerable's some of the venerables who not attain but they have the psychic powers they can see 
King Sakka this behavior. Because that when the world Sariputta there, when the Mahamakala, when the Mahakashap didn't pay respect first and first go to the Venerable Mahakachaya. Venerable had been talking, oh, King Sakka is not suitable thing done. He had to pay respect earlier the chief Venerables, but King Sakka first go to the Venerable Mahakachaya and later pay respect to the Venerable. It is not a suitable thing. Venerable had been talking. So Buddha here, Buddha says, Venerable, don't say this way. My son, Venerable Mahakachaya, he had very special qualities. That's why the, even the King Sakka and all the Devas also like him. So Buddha want to explain Venerable Mahakachaya's quality and recite one Dhamma father to preach Dhamma. Yasindriyani samatangatani asayata sarati nasudanta pahinamanas anasavas devapitas pihayanti tadinoti You know the well controlled well-trained horse, very obedient. Similarly, the one who have the well-restraint of their senses. And uh, the uprooted uh, the mana that you would call conceit, and also uprooted all the defilements, asravas, so that life becomes stable, that uh, not change in life. So these qualities, they were also like they also pay respect such a quality venerable. Buddha had been preaching the venerable Mahakacha and have this quality. That's why even the King Sakka also pay respect to the venerable before paying respect to others. Buddha had been preaching this Dhamma to the venerable Sangha. Many of the venerable got an urgency. Among them, many could attain some path portions. So the, in this verse, there are a few things which uh, Devas also like. First one is restrain the senses. It is a common thing we had been explaining many times, the senses restraining. It is more valuable thing. We have to restrain the senses. Another one of the very important thing is that uh, ego uprooted. That means egoless, no ego. Also very important thing. So we had been explaining earlier a lot. Huh? And, uh, and another one is asravas or that uh, defilements or hidden tendencies. They are all uprooted, asravas uprooted. Another one thing is uh, the stable life, tadi. Tadi is stable life. So that we are going to explain here that this part, tadi, how become tadi, how become stable. Uh, Arahang one, they are stable. Their mentalities never change. Their mentalities all the time is stable. There are some reasons. So later we will explain the reasons. So before Arahang, also other venerable, they can train. Some of the reasons, any of the negative things, they can train to be stable the life. Someone blame to you. The general way is, I also get emotion. Shaking our life. Someone hit you. Also very easy. Your life is shaking and your life is um, distractions. And also someone do harmful to your life. Also same thing. Very easy. Life is changing and also restlessness. So, but the Arahang Venerable never happened it. Someone play also never happened. Someone that hit also not never happened. Someone do harmful also never happened. Because their mentality is stable. Some, they have this quality before attainment also, because they had been training. You know, the bodhisattvas, some of the lives, they had been training. Because of this training, life is stable. Whatever negative thing happened, life is not changing. So this is stability there. But this stability is one life is stable, another life can be changed. The uh, reason is not the attainment. Until attainment, it can be changed. So after attainment, never change. So then we have to understand how we develop this quality. What is the way of developing this quality? What are the things we have to develop for these qualities? So we that uh, think first and later we'll explain. So the, the quality we call Thadi is a stable quality. 
it is only for the arahang is stable but others bodhisattvas also they have this quality because of their determination and training why this thing happened what is the main reason for this thing happened the when you train something your life gradually become stable and stable when you train another thing your life become more and more restless what are those things what can made your life a restless what can made your life stable there are two things you have to focus two side even the buddha's teaching very clearly explain wholesome and unwholesome wholesome object got ability to make your life is stable if you give wholesome object again again life become stable unwholesome object great object make your life distractions hatred object delusion of all object is doing the same thing so that you can see oh if i if you give the object of buddha buddha again again your life become more calm more comfortable more tranquil why this thing happen the power of the tranquility power of the stability they are in the wholesome object when you are meditating you are thinking great object or oh, mind distraction you are thinking your past great object mind distracting you are when you are thinking of past your hated object mind distracting when you are thinking of your any of the conceit object man object mind is distracting all the evil object the mind take towards the distractions so distractions power unstability power is there in the unwholesome the stability power with the wholesome object is the different why this thing happen this wholesome and un- unwholesome why this thing happen so you cannot think first let i will explain so the we know that wholesome object have some power unwholesome object also have some power unwholesome object have the distractive power wholesome object have the stability power why this thing happen why this object doing it object is one thing but inside the object ingredients is another thing wholesome object inside the object ingredients is useful thing unwholesome object ingredients harmful thing so the example we think we drink one pure water drop of the pure water clean water you you get healthy because that contain there are many valuable thing hydrogen oxygen and some other other things many things they are inside all go to your body you get energy valuable things clean water clean one drop of water means many inside valuable factors for your body and also if you drink that the poison drop of the water poison one also some of the thing they are useful but because of poison you get bodily weakness you get bodily harmfulness so same way evil object always have the poison if you have the great object means you are have the poison if you have the hatred object means you have the poison if you have the delusion object poison conceit object poison not easily control but we try to understand first or oh, you are taking poison you are drinking poison you are eating poison that you have to understand you are having poison and it is poison definitely harmful for your life at least you understand then at least some part you can control for some object you have to understand or oh, giving valuable things you are thinking of the buddha you are focusing your breath in and breath out so any of the object you are maintaining for some object meditation object life become more and more powerful and more and more energetic life you get the concentration energy you get the mindful energy you get the other important energies come to you your life become more energetic life because you are giving more and more or some object so because of we telling better not follow you have first you think and understand the buddha also teaching this dhamma we also teaching dhamma but you yourself understand value beauty of training or some object and also harmfulness of maintaining your 
unknown some object you would understand these two sai and then easy you to maintain this meditation object during this meditation retreat not only that even after retreat also you can maintain your whole some object definitely your life become more and more brighter definitely life become more and more stable until this stability come you have to maintain this whole some object first you have to understand unwholesome and wholesome then maintain wholesome object is your life become more brighter life so the wholesome object what does for stability of the mind unwholesome object we know have the poison there that's why mind make distractions we have to control as much as possible unwholesome we know it is not easily control whole thing at least you have to understand you are this poison it is harmful for your life at least you have to understand later some part at least control for some object you have to train more and more if you are training for some object your life become more and more stable why is happening you know the beautiful mental factors all the beautiful mental factors contained there in the whole some object among these beautiful mental factor second one is called mindfulness if any are training or some object any of the or some object think of buddha dhamma sangha breath any of the or some object meditation object means uh, you are increasing mindful power naturally your mindfulness increase because uh, this or some object contain mindful power that means mindful mental factors beautiful mental factors so when you are training it again and again so that your mindful power become more and more stronger more and more powerful so later you can have the more mindfulness you can see beginning of your meditation retreat less mindfulness when you are training it again and again and again after few days you are more mindful walking also mindful also that sitting also mindful eating also mindful every action mindful because of the whole some object you are training continuously your whole some object is continuously you can train that's why mindfulness is stable if you come up to that level you can see how much stable your life you can see you are more mindful now that time someone come and blame you someone do some harmful to you so that you maintain this mindfulness and see this mindfully someone doing this one so this thing happening you can easily keep your mind stable because of mindfulness mindfulness is doing very big thing for a life so the mindfulness develop with the whole some object maintaining continuous whole some it is very important so another one is concentration gathering or unifying ability also contain there with the whole some object your training or some object later your mind become more and more gathering your mind become more stable your mind very easily stay in one object so then you maintain further this uh, concentration with the or some object then your mind become transparent and brightness let this brightness go to the very deep level so mind also go to the very deep level and mind go to the very deep absorption even the jhanas why this thing happening your wholesome object is continuously are training wholesome object containing this uh, deep uh, results of the concentration so deep on of the concentration depend on your wholesome training have to train continuously as much as possible if you train one day two day three day definitely gradually you are going toward the deeper concentration so in the one thing is most valuable thing is if you are giving or some object is wisdom the wisdom we are thinking we have wisdom actually our wisdom level very low because we are always spoken it to the beings me my myself we are so true the life if you are focusing that is not the real wisdom this is uh, our wrong we together we think we have wisdom but it is wrong real wisdom if anyone can see through the dhamma is the real wisdom through the dhamma that the through the can see with the nama roop continuity and see the kama is continuity see the cause and effect continuity 
these things if anyone see me the see through the dhamma see through dhamma means uh, then he not focus the person he not focus the self life this is the real wisdom buddha expected if you have this wisdom you can see when somebody harm put to you what will happen to you or you very easily understand with the your wisdom or someone harm pulling this not the person problem this is kammi ko nama roopa so me for me also this not the person is nama roopa this kamma i have to get this kamma because of i have done earlier it he can see through the dhamma so this is called wisdom if you have the wisdom also your life is stable if you have the mindfulness life is stable if you have the concentration life further stable if you have the wisdom life more stable this stability power depend on the whole some object if you are training this or some objects continuously only you can achieve this levels so that we our determination we have to do every day evil object unhold some object reduce as much as possible hold some object develop as much as possible every day we have to maintain then only you can come up to these levels so the hold some object we know it is more valuable hold some object can the stable life so some of the vendors you see more effortful because they know valuability of the hold some object example you know our me gudu banthi you can see it even today also i saw early in the morning 4:30 come here and start meditation and also until 5:30 for for all come 5:30 vendor had been meditating now you see how all vendor is now 88 evening also going to the mountain and do this puja and night time also come and do some chanting this kind of effortful practice because they know valuability of the whole some object they don't like to that reduce their effort that's why they are more effortful with the whole some object so you know the venerable santi and ribanti even the last people treated before when the bell got the heart attack also don't know when the bell even though that time also even while coughing come here for and meditating with togedas some difficulty all the time coughing because of the heart weak weaken but uh, effortfulness maintaining continuously and also not only that after this uh, meditation finish go to the pagoda and do some lamp offering and chanting and meditating this kind of effortfulness maintaining because of the whole some they know training whole some continuously they know valuability of the whole some they are more happy with this whole some object you also should train this effortful whole some training if you are lazy our energy our whole some energy is weaken if you are effortful our whole some energy is become stronger so early morning had to wake up early morning had to start some chanting and meditation so then the whole day become more energetic day more effortful day so that during this period we know many of the vendors more effortful so we determined to maintain this effortful practice we wish all the vendors to continue this practice until we reach to the deeper levels of the practice few questions in one paper one is the first one is when people asking that when we change the jhana concentration one jhana to another jhana concentration can it be the same uh, the light same brightness cannot only the concentration factors is different the, there are two ways one is that when you are training the jhanas one jhana that you are training uh, we example earth kasina then after some times you train water kasina that your object also different your light also different brightness also different when you are training the the earth kasina your brightness is towards the the reddish color that not the brown reddish color and also your object is earth hard object earth object when you have got the water object your brightness is different little bit towards the transparent and also the object is water water feeling like that object also changing brightness also changing if you are if you take time and practice but 
when you are training fast and faster sometimes you have to train very fast with the mastery you you heard about the 14 mastery training when you are training very fast uh, you are not much uh, clearly seeing it the color and object it is very fast very fast you change the object and concentrate this is because of the faster but if you have the time definitely object also changing color also changing second part of the question in the arupa jhana concentration if they are got light the arupa jhanas means focus in the non material if you focus light it till the material there you are not focusing light actually light have you have the light because you are you have the access concentration before you are going to the arupa jhana concentration this access power have is still you have the brightness but we are mentality not focus on this brightness mentally to focus the boundless space boundless consciousness boundless nothingness this is the object if you maintain this object you can have the jhana if you see the brightness if you see the light you come out the jhana come out to the access concentration so that uh, not focus in the brightness you focus the boundless object only the next part of the question the can we en- enter the jhana concentration together with the open eyes yes can because you know there sometimes you walk in time also can enter the concentration but not while walking while when walk and stop and enter the jhana concentration again walk and stop and enter the concentration this can happen or even your open eyes also can close eyes also can normally close eyes that majority do in close eyes but some they can even open eyes another one is when we wanted to do something we i do this thing that we have this uh, the intention to do this thing how it become come uh, this intention that intention is not doing things intention is why i am doing this thing this become come uh, i that uh, i want to help someone why i am helping others i like their Uh, that good things i like to help them for their benefits so it become karma so that we are doing some chanting why we are doing this chanting i like to develop the whole some object that's why we are doing this chanting why i am meditating i like to develop the concentration and hold some object that's why this become karma that why i am doing this thing this is the chetana this is the intention this become karma so easily understand so we know that our vendors they are more for for practice so we wish all the vendors to continue this practice fulfill the practice and attain for the path portions and nibbana there one sir nine sadhu 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 idango nyate nango to suketha onto nyate yo idango nyate nango to suketha onto nyate yo Edango nyate nango to sukita hantu nyate yo etavata cha me sambatam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatte siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu sabba sampatte siddhiya sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatte siddhiya ಆಕಾಶಟ್ಟಾಚಭೂಮ್ಮಟ್ಟಾದೇವಾಗಮಯಿಂದಿಕಾಂತಂಗನುಮೋದಿತ್ವಾಚಿರಂಗ್ರ
हिमेना पुण्य कामे न मामे बाल समागम सतन समागम तो यावनी बान पत्या हिमाय धम्मानुदम पटि पत्या बुद्धम पूजे में हिमाय धम्मानुदम पटि पत्या धम्मम पूजे में हिमाय धम्मानुदम पटि पत्या संगम पूजे में अध्याय माय पटि पत्या जाति जरा मरणम परिमुंचे सामी काये न वाचा चित्ते न पमादे न माया कतं अच्छायं कम में बंते भूरे पंच तत्तागत काये न वाचा चित्ते न पमादे न माया कतं अच्छायं कम में दम संदेते का कालिक काये न वाचा चित्ते न पमादे न माया कतं अच्छायं कम में संग पुण्यकेत अनुतर साधु साधु साधु